Hey everybody, so it's the end of March and we're at Coldest Lake today in Chilliwack. Um, we're not fishing for salmon, we're not fishing for steelhead, we're not fishing for trout, but we're fishing for everyone's favorite freshwater fish species, the northern pike minnow. We're also going to be cooking them up and they're going to be delicious. So check it out. We're going to be fishing in the 100 feet of water, yeah. over 100 feet of water. 100 to 120 feet. Yeah, yeah, that's where the northern pike minnows are right now. Um, they don't come in the shallows until when the water warms up a little yeah. bit in the spring and summer. And they've been that way forever in this lake. They early, when in the summertime, once the water hits, a, you know, in 15 to 20 feet of water, once it hits about uh, 15 to 18 degrees Celsius, then the, the pike minnows, well, they move it in June for spawning. But then they yep. hang around in there because that's their temperature. They love that temperature, 65, 70, 75 degrees. Yep. I'm using three quarters of an ounce. Okay, I'm going a little smaller. Yeah. Well, this is a, when you're fishing this deep water, yep. it takes forever to get out there. Look at. Now watch this. Oh, there he's got it. There he is. <laughs> I'm not even ready yet. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. What's going on here? See? Oh. There's one. There he is. Is that, a good, is that a good size? That's a perfect eating size. That fish is probably 30 centimeters. Yeah, just under. Just under. They're down there still. Mm -hmm. There's the odd really big one too. See that big symbol? What yep. if that's bull trout? Yeah, okay. So this lake is pretty diverse. I mean, it's got a good diversity of species. Got pike minnows, it's got peamouth chub, suckers, bull trout. Sculpin, cutthroat, They're... even some kokanee. Huh? They don't bite very hard. No, like say. It, was, it was a very lazy bite. There he is. <laughs> Blowing his air. <laughs> Same size. Yeah. But they're nice looking fish, eh? Oh, beautiful, yeah. You know, I mean, for being a nice, clean looking type of fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is Nick Basshook, and uh, we've known each other for over 20 years. Roughly around that, 20 years. Yep. I think I first met you around two, 2001, 2002. Yep. And uh, you know, you, you're a former, I guess, fish culturist, yep. is that right? So that means- um, For the province, yeah. Yeah, he used to work with uh, freshwater fish, works at the Fraser Valley Trout Hatchery. Um, saying that he's an avid angler, it's kind of an understatement because you fish probably every day. Wow. Like, almost every day. Three, four days a week when I can. Today, we could have been fishing with steelhead, could have been doing cutthroat trout. I mean, but you, I mean, besides filming today, but you do come out here and do this on your own as well. Oh, yeah. So, what, what makes you want to do this? Because they're pike minnows. Yeah, well, just, hey, it's, they're, they're fish. They're fish. Yeah. And they're a challenge, especially when they're in this deeper water. Yeah. It's just nice to learn where fish live and, and how to catch them. Eh? Every time that you can catch them in all situations. And it's just nice to, I mean, I just enjoy fishing. Um, just the experience, not necessarily just catching a fish, just getting out there and, 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 and trying to find them and trying to make, we'll see what makes them bite. Yeah. And uh, there's so many fisheries actually in our area that people don't take advantage of. There's cutthroat fishing, yeah. whitefish fishing, and there's lots of little fisheries, even a few carp fisheries around, lots of pike minnow fisheries, and it's great for kids, eh, because you can take your kids out and spend a day doing this kind of stuff. That's right. And it's, uh, it's just a good experience. And then every time you fish, whether you're fishing for pike minnows or trout or salmon or whatever, it's just, it, you learn something else about fishing and the behavior of fish. In the end, that will help you out a lot as a fishing, fisher person. There you <laughs> well, go. That was a big bite. <laughs> yeah, he took it. like the light rod. Right? It, oh, it, 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 it fell off. It, it didn't want it. <laughs> We're not gonna say anything about that, no, are we, Rod? No. Oh, he went to yours. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> a clone. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cookie cutter. Sometimes you'll get in an area and you just bang, yeah. bang, bang. You'll get six or seven, one after another. Yeah. And then it just goes kind of deadish. Yeah. There he is. And there it is. Yeah. Oh, I just got a bite too. Oh, oh. Yep. Yeah. Rain to the Double school. headers. <laughs> Double headers. See, Rodney, you just had to tell him. That's right, yeah. yeah. And he said, oh, they think we're gone. We better bite. 
There you go. I got the midget. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there he is. Got a bite. Oh, I pulled it out of his mouth. Yeah. There he is. Oh. <laughs> as soon as you see it come up a little bit, well, it's, yeah. it's obviously swimming around with it. Oh, you're getting a bite. I am? Yep. Yep. There he is again. Just lift up. You got him, I'm sure. Yep. Oh, yeah. See, him? see that little kick up? Yeah. That's because they're swimming up with it a little bit. There he is again. Oh, Got there him. it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Here he comes. Right there. See him? Yeah. This time. <gasps> <laughs> Got breakfast or lunch. Yeah, let's get this fishing. <laughs> <laughs> look yeah, look yeah. at your rod. Yeah, that or you're getting one terrible good bite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he dropped it. Oh, yeah, no. He dropped it, yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay, now that we got our fish, it's time to cook them up. Um, the fillets actually look really appetizing. If you look at them, they just look like any other normal fish fillets and you can eat them probably just like that. The only problem is these fish have a lot of bones. So, you know, cooking them up and you're gonna, it's gonna be a hassle to kind of pick these bones out while you're eating them. I'm gonna be chopping these up, um, dicing them up into fine pieces first, and then I'm gonna grind this, these up into a paste. Okay, so before we start grinding, I'm gonna add some ingredients into this. I'm gonna put three Let's see, three teaspoons of salt. Okay, so three. Oh no, that's sugar I just put in. Oh well. So, okay, three, three teaspoons of salt. Bit of soy sauce, some white pepper into it. Rice wine. Okay, so I got the water boiling right here, and uh, let's chuck those bowls in there and see how they taste. So I'm gonna chuck that into here. Check out my little fish bowl swimming in there. So this is what it looks like now. It looks somewhat edible, right? Pike minnow fish bowl. Well, pike minnow bowls. <laughs> All right. So let's 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 see. It's not bad, the, the texture is pretty good, but my seasoning is not. Ah, something's missing. Surprisingly, the sugar isn't, I can't taste the sweetness in this.
That's pretty good. This tastes, yeah, this tastes like pretty authentic fish bowl right here. Okay, here we are. We are dart and tackle. Uh, this is where Nick works on the weekend. And uh, I promised him I will cook these up and he has to try them. And I told him that they better be hungry today. Um, I can see them waiting for me over there, so let's go. Okay. So, <laughs> hold on one second, let me get it. Okay. Here's Rod, showed up with lunch. So I got, so I made them into fish bowls, okay? Fish bowls. Yeah. And what, what are we talking about so here, Rod? We're talking about pike middle bowls. Pike okay? middle bowls. So these are, there's two different kinds. So there's boiled and there's deep fried. Okay. Okay, and you, you're gonna cut them up and you're gonna try them. Just to make it easier, I brought some ketchup and hot sauce. I okay. won't tell you which one's which, so you can okay. try them out, so. And all these people are gonna try them too. No, right? no, so. no, no, no. The deep fried, it's not, I'm not satisfied with the deep fried. The oh yeah, texture's... good. I get the rotten well, one right well, the, 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 the fish would itself that, tastes good, would but... Would one of those stick to a 9 But would, 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 I don't like the texture enough. Okay. But uh, we'll, we'll try that. And we'll try the, uh... Okay, We'll the try boiled? the boiled one as well. So, okay. hold on one sec. So, <laughs> Rod, what are, what are the, have you got spices in there? Or how uh, do you this? It's seasoned with soap, uh, white pepper, there's a bit of soy sauce in there. You say salt or soap? Actually, they smell really good. Yeah. That is actually really, really good. It's not bad. I'm not, I'm not totally satisfied with it yet. But um, I think the next batch I'll do will be better. What kind of fish is the closest to you? Yeah. It's like... Is it cod? Tastes a bit like cod, yeah. yeah. Try to boil them. They taste fine. <laughs> oh yeah, come and try it. I'm gonna try it. You like, like, bro, like, bro, like, bro, like extra, <laughs> extra force for you guys. You need to try it. I'm not a good reference because I don't bro, know much about it. You gotta, it's so skeptical. You don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> Which one do you prefer, the uh, the boiled or the? Uh, Actually, I I can eat the boiled, no problem. Oh yeah. yeah. This this boiled one would be good for like putting. This is kind of more like. A dumpling, eh? Yeah, yeah. so yeah. if you put it like in soup and curry, mm -hmm. uh, I mean like all gravy and stuff, that, that would taste really good, I think. Yeah. No, there's nothing wrong with those at all. No, no. Not at no. all. I'm impressed, <laughs> I really am. Like, I'm not just saying this, I'm impressed. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope that was really enjoyable. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this video with Nick. Uh, for our very first catch and cook on Northern Pike Minnow, I think I did a reasonably good job. Um, but it can be improved and I promise you I will do another one in the near future. Um, even though this video was supposed to be somewhat funny, there is a very serious take home message which is that we need to respect all fish species. For too long now, um, northern pike minnow, which is a native freshwater fish species, um, have been unfairly vilified simply because they eat um, salmon and trout. And uh, you know, people will catch them and toss them in the bush simply wasting these fish and uh, I think that attitude has to change. So by respecting fish, what I mean is that you, if you're killing a fish, you want to be killing it for consumption, not wasting valuable resources like uh, for any fish species really. I am going to do a separate video on Northern Pike Minnow talking about the ecological values of these fish um, in the near future, so stay tuned for that, you definitely don't want to miss that. And uh, yeah, and if you enjoyed this video, uh, make sure you click on that subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate your support. And leave a comment on the bottom. Let me know what you think, how I can improve my pike minnow bowls. And uh, until next time, good luck fishing.